The Rubik's Cube. It has boggled many minds and motivated many people to start a new journey in their lives. If you clicked on this video, that probably means you want to start that journey too. So today, I will teach you a simpler way of doing this. Without wasting any more time, let's get right into it. To start off, you'll need to know this fundamental algorithm that'll legit do magic. It goes like this. And the lefty version. I suggest you practice these moves a couple times. Next, you need to know the names of the pieces you're solving. These are called centers. These are edges, and these are corners. By the way, I'm not a magician. These are just magnets. <sighs> Finally, I put it back together. Now that you know the basics, let's get to solving. Oh wait, to solve it, we have to scramble it. There, problem solved. Now let's get to solving. The first step in the beginner's method is what Cuber calls the daisy. It looks like this. Where four edge pieces, white edge pieces, are around the yellow centerpiece. Now I'll show you how to do it. So here we're lucky we already have one white edge piece next to the yellow center. I see this one. So this is really easy. If I do this, it'll go next to it, but it gets rid of this one. So if I bring over an empty slot and then put it in, that's good. Now I see this one. This I can just do a double move to put it up pretty easy. And then this one's also really easy, just one move. After you've done your daisy, the next step is to make a white cross, similar to the daisy, but on the bottom with the white center. So, to turn your daisy into a white cross, what you have to do is to pick a random edge piece from your daisy. So, I'll just pick this one. And you want to like look at the other sticker on that edge piece, and then try and match it to its center. So, in this case, red. And then you do a double move to bring it down next to the white centerpiece. And then you do that for all of them. So here I see this one. The other sticker is orange. I'm going to match it to orange. And then do a double move to bring it down. And then this one, it's already matched. Just bring it down. This one. And then now we matched it. And then brought it down. Now that you've finished your cross, let's move on to the next step. Instead of going side by side, actually we go layer by layer. So after you've finished your cross, we're gonna solve the white corners and finish the first layer. To do that, you're gonna have to find a corner piece with a white sticker on it, like this one. And then you wanna look at its other two stickers, in this case, green and orange. And I'm going to find the green and orange center pieces here and here. And then I'm going to bring that corner piece in between those centers. Once you've done that, repeat the four move sequence I taught earlier until the corner piece is solved. You want to do that to every white corner piece. So here I see this one. The other stickers are red and green so now if i bring it in between those i just have to repeat the move and there now this one blue and orange blue and orange and salt 
Now this one is already in between the centers. That's lucky. Solved. That's your first layer. After the first layer, you're obviously going to do the second layer. To do that, you have to find a edge piece on the top layer that does not have any yellow on either side. This one has yellow here, this one has yellow here, this one has yellow here, this one does not have any yellow. This is good. So now I'm going to look at this sticker that's pointing outwards, in this case red, and I'm going to match it to the red center piece, like that. Now I'm going to look at the sticker that's on top, and I'm going to match, like find the center piece, it's appropriate center piece, so in this case green, and it's to the right of red. So that means this one has to solve to the right. So to do that, you're going to move it away from the right, and since it's right, so you're going to do the right sequence, then you're going to rotate to the right and do the left sequence. That brings that piece to its correct spot. Next, we have this piece on the top layer and the sticker that's pointing outward is blue. I'm gonna match it to blue and the sticker that's on top is orange. I found orange, so it has to solve to the left this time. So, to solve your edge piece to the left you have to move it away from the left and then you do your left sequence and then you're gonna rotate to the left and do your right sequence now if you get a case where there is an edge piece in the second layer but it's not correct so to do this case you just have to replace it with another random piece, so like this one for example. So I'm gonna pretend this is the correct piece and insert it in here. So move it away to the right, and then the right sequence, rotate to the right, left sequence. Now I brought this edge piece out and now I can solve it correctly. So blue is the sticker that's facing outward, I'm gonna match it to blue. And then red is the sticker that's facing up, and it has to. And red is on the right to blue, so it has to solve to the right. So I'm gonna move it away from the right, right sequence, rotate to the right, and left sequence. That's how you do the second layer. After you've done your second layer, we have to move on to the third layer. The third layer involves algorithms and cube notation so there will be a cube notation chart right here pause the video if you want to memorize notation all right so now our first algorithm will be to make a yellow cross on the top similar to a white cross but you have to preserve your first two layers so you have to use algorithms so you might get one, so you're gonna get one out of three cases. You might get an L case like this. Only look at the center and the edges, not the corners yet. You might get an L case. You might get a line case. Or you might get a dot case like this. So I'm going to start from the dot case, which will then lead to the L case, which will then lead to the line case, which will then eventually lead to the yellow cross. So either step you have, just pick up from wherever you are. So if you got a dot case, the notation for this algorithm is right here, uh, or you can look at my finger movements. like that so that turned the dot case into an L case so now what you're gonna do for the L case is you're gonna arrange it so that it's at the 12 and 9 spots of a clock and you do the same algorithm that puts you into a line case 
Now, if your line is like this, orient it so that it's horizontal. If it's horizontal for you, great. So once it's horizontal, you do the same algorithm one more time to get a yellow cross. Once the yellow cross is complete, the next step to the cube is called OLL, -L, stands for orientation of the last layer. So to do that, you're gonna have to flip the whole cube over so that white is on the top and your yellow cross is on the bottom. Now, you're gonna see which corners need orienting. I see these need orienting, this one's good. So to orient them, you're gonna have to hold them to your bot one of them to your bottom right, and then spam your four four se four move sequence until that piece is pointing downwards. Don't worry about the the first two layers; they might look messed up, but just trust the process. Next, you're gonna turn the bottom layer so that there's a new piece you, that is on the bottom right, so that you can orient it. You're gonna do your four move sequence until it solves again. Next, you're gonna turn it again, spam your four move sequence until it's solved. Now you're gonna do that to all pieces. I only had three pieces to orient. You might have four or two. Well, 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 would you look at that? So close to solving the cube, just one step left. We call it PLL, or permutation of the last layer. The first step of PLL is to bring headlights all around the top layer. Headlights look like this, where there's mashing corners all around the cube. Now we have to bring it to that stage. So, here. Now, the first step is to find one pair of headlights. If you don't see any headlights, I'll come to that later, but for those who do see headlights, match those corners to their corresponding center like this, and then hold that face to your left, and then do the algorithm on screen here. that should bring headlights. Now, for those who do not see any headlights, then you're just gonna do the, the algorithm on screen, which is the same one for if you already have headlights, which brings headlights. So you can solve it like your normal headlight case. that should bring headlights all around the cube for you. Now, you want to look for a solved side. If you don't see a solved side after you make your headlights, I'll come to that later. But for those who do, face that solved side towards you and then do the algorithm on screen. It's pretty simple, it's just your right sequence your left sequence and your right sequence five times and your left sequence five times. If that does not solve your cube, repeat the algorithm one more time. That should solve your cube. Now for those of you who do not find any headlights, basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna do the algorithm on screen, which is the same one um, for if you have a salt side. So you're gonna do your right sequence, left sequence, right sequence five times, and same for the left that should give you a solved side. And then you solve it like your normal solved side case. You face it towards you. And 
cube there. Your cube solved. Now I'm going to do an example solve for those who need thoughts clarified. All right. So first we start with the daisy. I see this one can go in with one move. This one can also go in with one move. This goes in with a double move. That, those three were pretty lucky. This one isn't very good, but I can bring it up here and then move this slot and then do a one move. There, that's my daisy. Next, I see this one i'm gonna ma i'm gonna match it to its center and bring it down and this one's already matched i'm just gonna put it down this one match and then put it down this one's already matched and put it down there i have my cross next i'm going to solve my first layer so i see this piece i'm gonna bring it in between its correct centers and solve it and then I have this one solved. This one goes here and then solve it. And then this one goes here and solve it. There. So now we have to do our second layer. And I see this piece it doesn't have any yellow. So out the outward facing sticker is red. I'm gonna match it to that. And the top facing sticker is green. Green is to the right of red. So I'm gonna move it away from the right, do the right sequence, rotate to the right, and do the left sequence. Um, I see this piece, the outward facing sticker is blue. I'm gonna match it to blue. The top facing sticker is orange. So, and orange is to the left of blue. So I'm gonna move it away from the left, do the left sequence, rotate to the left, and do the right sequence. I see this piece, and the out outward facing sticker is green, so I'm gonna match it to green. The top facing sticker is orange, and orange is to the right of green, so I'm gonna move it away from that. Right sequence, rotate, left sequence. Now I see this piece, and the outward facing sticker is blue, so I'm gonna match it to the blue centerpiece. And the top facing sticker is red, so red is to the right of blue, so move it away. Right sequence, rotate, left sequence. Here I got really lucky and got my yellow cross done for me, so that's a skip. Now I'm going to put my yellow cross on the bottom and orient this piece. Turn the bottom layer, this one already oriented. This one needs orienting. All oriented. That's Oella. Now I see one matching quarter here. I see headlights. So I am going to match it to its face. Hold it to the left and do the algorithm. Nice, now I have headlights and a solved face. So I'm going to solve that face, face that solves face, and then do the algorithm. And there, that's the cube solved. Thank you all so much for watching, solving, and learning with me today. This is only my first video on the channel, so please subscribe, like, comment, you know, all that good stuff. When we hit 1k subscribers, I will be doing a face reveal and a Q&A, so if you want to see that, please subscribe. Alright now, peace.